So I'm not sure if you guys forgot, not gonna lie, I kinda did with everything we've been covering for the last however long, but there's pretty much another tournament of power going on. Yes, tournament of power two, kinda. And this little wizard fella is playing zero games. He shows up while Goku is just trying to make an honest living because Chi Chi doesn't believe in all of that fighting paying the bills until the tournament comes around. No one can just let this man Goku get through a full day's work though, as when this little wizard fella shows up, he entices Goku with the one thing he can't say no to, a fight with some really strong he invites Goku to something called the Super Space Time Tournament, and then when he gets- Excuse me, this is Super Dragon Ball Heroes Ultra God Mission. I'm sorry, I just dove right in there. Goku takes a look around the room and is greeted by Gohan, Piccolo, Vegeta, etc. Friendlies. Cool. Okay. But then we turn around and see Golden Cooler, Frieza, Hearts, Cumber, and damn near everybody else in the multiverse that these guys have had a problem with. This is a pretty nasty setup for Goku with the Z Fighters, but before we go any further, if you guys haven't left a like on the video by now, I'm gonna make you an offer that I know you can't refuse. I didn't wanna have to do this, I didn't wanna have to use my power, but Toei been moving kinda mad. I gotta go save the Dragon Ball Super movie, so if this video gets enough likes, I will personally go teach Toei how to put two-step on other So the first round of this tournament consists of 12 teams and a total of 84 fighters in a survival battle and like I said before, everyone is here and I mean everyone. They even dusted the rust off of and pieced back together 19 for some reason. As soon as the tournament starts, everyone gets teleported to different locations and this is when we see Goku in the middle of a huge forest. All over the place, Vegeta, Jiren, Gohan and the others have all been split up. Goku is still, however, able to sense that the others aren't too far away, but all of a sudden, he's attacked. Ironically, the first person that Goku encounters is his Xeno counterpart, and I'm not gonna lie, he probably would've caught me with that sneak punch. Dude, that was a sneaky punch, but the real Goku would never sneak me like that, I think. We then get to visit pretty much all of the key areas where battles are going on, and then they just Randomly let Trunks bust out in Super Saiyan God like that's an ordinary technique for this fella and not a high level maneuver. Apparently this is all a game however as we see Ios along with the rest of the hooded warriors who confirm that it looks like she's making good use of these pawns. She says that the amount of time spaces has increased far too much so she can't leave it to Kronoa anymore. Whatever this means it caused them to orchestrate this chaos to what end however we might not know in some time. The next time we see the little wizard fella is to announce that there are about 15 tacks remaining in this round or roughly 7 minutes in earth time. The battles in every area of the tournament are getting fiercer and fiercer with a little peek at Broly vs Jiren even. Pretty cool. Kid is delivering the beats to Harutagarn and Janemba is in a lock with Kid Buu so this is pretty much everything a Dragon Ball fan could ask for matchup wise minus some fusions of course. And Wait, they just kind of dropped Super Saiyan 3 Raditz in here. And Turles is back too when he's munching on that good fruit right now as he sends a blast at Raditz. Back in the forest, we return to the two Gokus who just finished their short sparring match. Alright, warm up's over, Goku says, but Xeno Goku reminds him that he has other things to attend to, so no rematch right now. Ah, who are we kidding? This is Goku, so they both power up to their strongest forms. Xeno Goku goes Super Saiyan 4 and Goku Super Saiyan Blue. Their clash levels the force, but it's great to see that these two are fighting at their best again because this is always a conversation. Nearby, Yamcha is still running from Frieza as he's seen crouching in a bush. I can't keep running from every battle, he says, but as he emerges, something smacks him on the head. Lucky Yamcha, out of nowhere, he's captured a time fairy, sending an alert to the dwarf at the headquarters of the tournament. A time fairy has been captured, he announces. The winning team can return to the main hall. All of a sudden, main timeline Goku returns to the base along with Piccolo, Vegeta, and the others. Right now, it seems like they're the only team here as Yamcha holds up the time fairy, saying that they all might as well just go ahead and thank him. Next, Xeno Goku's team appears as we see Trunks holding up the time fairy too. Then, Hearts and Cumber appear, but this is when something ominous is realized. 
Piccolo confirms that there were only three time fairies as the Warriors in Black finally make their appearance. The losing teams disappear, the frontrunner says. That means their very existence and their universe has been erased from space-time. Holy, they erased everybody after round one. What the f It's all for Lady Ios, he says, as he commands them to proceed to the second round. Trunks transforms into Super Saiyan God again, demanding to know if they really erased all those people. He charges at the man in black, asking where Ios is and saying he'll make her return the Scroll of Eternity. Looks like something new has begun, Yamcha says, Trunks waiting for the smoke to clear. Impatient as always, his opponent says. You really want? Then try coming at me. He powers up with this menacing but familiar red and black aura. The shockwave puts everyone on guard as the hooded guy and Trunks continue their 1v1 battle. Huh. That guy in the black is strong, Goku says. But not only that. You realize that too, huh? Piccolo says. His movements? That... That looks a lot like... Up above, Trunks is still being pressured by the hooded man who's made quite a strong impression on Goku and the others already, seeming to figure out who he is. He applauds Trunks on this interesting power he has, and when he does, Trunks seems to recognize who he is too. He knees Trunks in the gut and sends him crashing into the platforms below with a kick, but Trunks is barely unfazed and already back on his feet. Trunks prepares a large blast with the hooded man charging a supernova. They release their attacks, but before the collision happens, time is frozen. Both of you guys have incredible power, Io says, suddenly appearing in the middle of the conflict. She creates rifts on both sides of herself and sends both of their attacks through. This is the end of your off-field brawl, she tells them, as Goku demands to know who she is. She is the former Supreme Kai of Time, Trunks confirms. Sorry for my interruption, she says. I am the organizer of this tournament. My name is Ios, the selector of space-time. If you guys couldn't already tell by that big-ass scar on his eye, the guy fighting Trunks was future Gohan, so they did just kind of sneak a Trunks vs. Gohan fight in there too. A lot happened this episode, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you do not miss the next episode of Super Dragon Ball Heroes Ultra God Mission.